I have several different companies. Um, uh, Changemakers Publishing and Writing, which does the writing. Changemakers Productions, which does the films. And then I have an, another company, which I'm actually trying to sell, that connects writers and, and filmmakers to, pub to publishers, agents, and the film industry. Um, I also do songwriting, and I write kids' books. So about me, I come from New York. I've been in California for about 40, over 40 years. Um, I was in Lafayette for about seven and a half years. And then what happened is my um, landlord had a stroke. And so he said he ha I had a move. And so I, I've been involved with the Dan Danville Chamber and one of the um, groups uh, here. So I thought it would be natural to, because I wanted to move someplace else other than Lafayette if I had a move. And so I chose Danville. So here I am. About, it's been a, about three weeks. I'm almost finished unpacking. Um, I've done about 50 books with major publishers and 200 books with um, that are myself. Um, I've done um, 60 short videos. I was a member of various film groups, um, volunteer groups in the Bay Area. And then about seven years ago, I started uh, doing feature films. I went to L.A. I lived there for, uh, for, two, um, for two weeks on. Then I would come back to Oakland and I would commute back and forth. I have a doctorate uh, from Berkeley, and then I've been a member of a number of different uh, business groups. And I'll, I'll be sending everybody a, a handout so you can see that. Um, so in terms of me, some, some fun facts. Uh, people uh, have sort of liked the idea that when I was a little kid, I sold worms in front of the house. So I had, I had early experience as an entrepreneur. And then I was always very prolific. Uh, my, my, I took art classes, and my parents would take me in, and I, I got they would the, the, the instructor would tell my parents that I was using much more paper than anybody in the class. So, so that sort of started a, a process where I do lots of different things uh, in in different fields. Uh, so I had so I had for multiple classes. I never could figure out what I wanted to do when I was younger. And so finally I decided, you know, I could do a lot of different things as a writer, and so I became a writer. So the different ways I can help you is I can write your book, uh, book proposal, articles, blogs. I can turn blogs into uh, books. Um, I do film scripts, uh, and I do business plans sometimes, uh, not the financial part, but I, I do the, the other writing part. And I do the copy for sizzle reels, and I work with various video people who do the videos. Uh, and I've been doing some pitch decks, too, so if you want to do a pitch uh, for a product or service or to get funding. Um, I help you find a publisher, agent, film producer, or other contacts through publishers, agents, films. I can publish and promote your book as print, ebook, or audiobook using KDP, a draft to digital, uh, or other uh, services that do books. Um, I do workshops on writing and publishing, and I can help you make more money and promote your business in a feature film or documentary. So, so we have investment possibilities, and then you can have like a little 30-second uh, clip at the end in the credits. Uh, and these are films that go national. The types of books I can help with, and you, see, you can see some examples of these books, um, business books, self-help books, um, memoirs. This is American Justice that I did for a client that turned into nine different books, and I've been doing some scripts for him too under a pseudonym of uh, Peter Anderson. So we've, we've done some sort of so, uh, social transformation kinds of films with a love story set against them. Um, I do some photo and illustrated books. Uh, these were some uh, adaptations of Indian uh, tales or Native American tales, rather, is the term to use now. And I've done some pictures of, of cats, or I've gotten little um, stock images that I put fun, funny captions with them. Um, I also do children's books. These are some books that are done. Uh, Crazy Critters Vi uh, Visit is published by um, uh, Taylor and Seal. Uh, the Dog who, who Wanted to Be a Cat is one that I did. I work, I've been working with this illustrator for a very, very long time. Um, and then I do some poetry and songbooks. I've written some poems. And I also do a series of poems. I have a, um, uh, a, 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 a channel through, um, let me go back. How do I go back? Well, anyway, I have a channel through um, uh, YouTube for songs that change makers music. And I've got about 100 or so songs with videos that I've done. So these are some of my latest books. What type of dog are you? If you have a 
personality that reflects different kinds of dogs that have different personalities. Like, um, and I picked out four four uh, types of dogs that are very popular, but it could be other kinds of dogs. But if you're a Pomeranian type, you're very social. German Shepherd, you're more like a leadership. Uh, Golden Retriever, you're more like a helper. Boston Collie, you're more like the researcher type. And so this is based on, uh, it's similar to the um, uh, disc system or color profiling or Myers-Briggs, but I put in dogs and it's kind of a fun way to deal with this. I had a series of workshops that I did with somebody I'd met at a, another BNI group. Um, so New American Middle Ages is comparing life today to the way it was in the Middle Ages where you had all these wars. Um, and uh, uh, you had a pandemic back then, uh, and, and so on. So I, I saw a make a comparison of, of how things are different. Turn your book or script into a film is another one. I started doing some courses based on turning my, turning your book or, or script into a course or into a, into a film. Uh, these are some American leadership books. This is the um, uh, the person I started writing the nine books for. Uh, we've done the Big Con, which is a book to film scam, and we have uh, nine people that we've that I interviewed for that. And then seven of them are in the film that we're doing based on that. I was scammed. It's all different kinds of scams, and we have a film based on that. And then I divided it up into five different little um, sections of it into separate. Uh, scam books in case people want to uh, see, see the differences. Some of my recent books are dealing with lying and I guess I, I've sort of been fascinated by that because uh, uh, I've had several experiences where people lied to me and I always believe in when things go wrong turning them into a book or something like that. So um, this, this became a series of books on lying, uh, scams when I discovered as a ghostwriter um, the, the, this particular scam on um, uh, ripping off clients, science of living longer. I was kind of interested in uh, all the different uh, uh, cryogenics process and all the different techniques that there's some billionaires that are looking into ways of living longer. You can even transfer your brain into a computer if, um, if, if it all goes well or, or maybe maybe not. Um, I was really fascinated by the Neanderthals, so I wrote some books about them. And I also uh, wrote a book about uh, internet book piracy that was published by Sourcebooks. Uh, these are some of my business uh, success books. Uh, I had somebody set up a speaking gigs for me, and then I wrote about you know how you do it. Uh, I have uh, 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 books on Shopify, so I wrote about you know how do you get a, a Shopify account. Keeping up with the competition is another one. I did some series on, on email marketing. Uh, Go for it was I uh, took a course on Instagram and I started putting the pictures that I created for the Instagram account into that. And then I did some books on um, uh, what do you do if you have clients that that you know that can make them happy. And I did a book on memory and um, I don't really have a terribly good memory, but it really helped to use some of those techniques. Um, so a way, one of the values of writing a book or doing uh, you know these videos is you have more credibility, recognition, authority, and so I've been hired as a ghostwriter by you know many different people. I'm listed with various ghostwriting services, and I've gotten clients through that, doing books, book proposals, articles, blogs, film scripts, research reports, so forth. Um, and I can work with your notes, journals, rough drafts. I can do interviews with you. We would tape them, and then I work from the transcripts. And if you've done a workshop or seminar, if you have a, a transcript from that, I can work with that. And then my clients have been from various different fields, as you can see, from business owners to speakers and workshop leaders to scientists and seniors who, uh, and families who want to do memoirs. The type of books and blogs and articles that I've been doing are tips and strategies, a personal improvement, a lot of self-help books, uh, making money and financial success, sales and marketing books, and some of those are based on my own experience in sales, and then health and medical books. So I can write about almost anything, even if I don't know about that particular subject, as long as I'm given that information. And a lot of people are doing memoirs and autobiographies. And some recent writing clients, uh, this was a um, uh, a doctor who um, uh, was an end-of-life doctor, and we ended up uh, doing this book. And then the film team I work with turned it into a, a TV pilot, which they were working on selling to um, uh, the streaming platforms. 
Um, I did a book on um, experience growing up in Nazi Germany for a, a research scientist and a federal prisoner um, who, who um, um, when now teaches kids. And I can work from your notes or journals. We prepare a rough draft. We create your ideas. Uh, you can create a website, write a blog, or create a podcast. And then you can write articles and post them. Um, and, and one of the ways is to start with an outline or synopsis. So I can take what you've already done and, um, and, then, and then adapt it into a book. You want to set up some time to write, maybe an hour or two a day. And if you work with a coach, consultant, or ghostwriter, that can help. You can also publish yourself if you want to on um, these various platforms. The platforms are free, but what I charge for is the time in, in terms of helping you do it yourself, because sometimes it can be daunting to try to figure out how to do it. Um, so uh, in terms of, I talked about increasing credibility and authority, you can show your friends, family, uh, you can promote pro business products and services. So even if you don't want to sell the book through Amazon, you can publish it through KDP, get copies, and then give them out at, when you go to events or you can email p PDFs for them. And uh, you can make more money from it, especially if you're doing workshops, seminars, and events. A lot of the money isn't from the book itself, but from doing a workshop where you sell, the, you use the book to create the credibility you need to do workshops, seminars, put on events. And you can self-publish in a few days. You know, I talked about the different ways you can do it. Um, I can help you decide on a title. Um, I can I, work, I use very stock photos to create the images. But if you want something fancy, you know, then you need to go to a graphic designer because I'm not I'm not a graphic designer. Uh, you can set your pricing on almost anything. Uh, I typically recommend about a dollar ninety-nine or two ninety-nine for um, uh, for the eBooks, just because they're you know, more people are more likely to buy them if they're lower priced. But you can you can set them at almost any price. And then there are ways to get book reviews, a good coach or consultant. And you only re really need the book reviews for Amazon, and that can help you. Um, I, I did a lot of work in getting 10 reviews for our, the big con, and we, we have an advertising com company that has been doing promotional uh, uh, not, uh, you know, posts, posts on um, uh, Facebook and uh, K uh, KDP. So you can create an audio book. I have 170 audio books I've done where you have to, uh, for the company I work with, you have to have a published book on Amazon. It's ACX, and then they can connect you with the narrator. And so I work on a 50-50 royalty split with, with the narrators that I've found. And you can tape your talk or workshops, record the book yourself. You can find a narrator, read your book, and I've always gotten other narrators. Um, and then you can market it through Audible. So Publishers Asian Films is this other company that I that I have on the side, though I am trying to sell it. If you know anybody who wants to buy a, co a company that's been successful for 18 years, I just don't want to really do it because it takes away from the writing. So, but a lot of uh, uh, we have hundreds of clients who found publishers, agents, and producers for it, and you can go go there and find out more. I write the query letters, and then we send out the emails uh, using special software that personalizes it. Uh, so for publishing and agents, you need a proposal with an overview, sample chapters, synopsis, a platform showing your expertise. For fiction, you need to actually write the whole manuscript. And a lot of them treat me memoirs this way because they're sort of like fictionalized um, uh, true stories. And for fiction, you know, you need a log line synopsis. We have about 1,000 clients that we've gotten through over the years. Uh, we have lots of testimonials there. Most get some response. Uh, and then you can see some of the statistics on the different pro uh, ways they've gotten it. I, I'm especially interested in uh, investors right now. I've done 18 films. These are some some of the people, our distributors. We've exhibited in the film market. Uh, we've been in major outlets. We have a 5% finder's fee. Investors get 120% back, share in proceeds forever, and they get credits. Uh, and so these are some of the documentaries we've done, and you can see the examples here. Uh, and these are films now where with investment opportunities, and I have flyers about them. And The American Reversal is one that I've written for my client. Social Shift is a documentary where we're filming, and then these are sci-fi features. So um, I, I put in about half the funding, and we're looking for another half. Our, our budgets range from 35000 on the Social Shift 
to about 70,000 on the um, feature films. We have ways of doing it much less than you know, major companies that are looking for hundred thousands of dollars and millions of dollars. Uh, so anyway, so this this will tell you a little bit more about it. I'll have a flyer that I'll give out to you, but um, uh, you, you know it's kind of a fun way. People can use it for tax credits. Uh, it, it's a long-term investment because it takes about two years between the time you make the film, the time you get into distribution, the time the retailer starts selling it. But for somebody who wants the potential of million-dollar returns, you know over the, you know, some of the horror the horror films uh, have low budgets, but you know, some of them have been million dollar sellers and so on. somebody who wants to do the risk, we can, you know, uh, Dark Cabin is our horror film. And so anyway, this is my contact information.